All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Maxland Earthquakes Race to Level 10, Episode 15 of Splatoon. Um, we're gonna hop right into a regular battle, of course. We know we're almost to level nine. We easily should be able to get to level nine. If not, by the end of this next battle that we are about to jump into, then definitely by the next. So let's see. Um, courses will change in about 10 minutes, so maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get a. Uh, oh, we're hopping right into a game waiting for plays. We are at a toasty plus 2.5. I'm not even gonna angry foot. Interesting name, at level seven. I'm not even going to try to read the rest of them out. We are still a walleye warehouse, so. Um, yep. All right, here we go. Let's cover up. We're going to cover up our backside here. And of course, then we're just going to, we're going to look to press, obviously, my favorite strat, because I used an ink bomb, of course, right? That's what I love to do. Um, uh, no, that was a complete accident, actually, but all right, I'm going to flank here, because it doesn't look, uh, it looks like someone did, but, you know, actually, I'm going to leave this. We're going to go cover middle here, because no one really covers middle for some reason. You know, it's definitely the most important part to keep because if we lose it, we're really in trouble. And that was an awful bomb, and we're experiencing some serious lag right now. As you can see, we are filling up currently on nothing. Hopefully, we yeah, we're probably gonna disconnect for a couple seconds here. Oh, did you just? Okay. Um, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. It's, I'm extremely confused right now. No ink is showing up for me. Oh, three players have already disconnected from this. Yep, and there we get a communication error, of course. So uh, um, that might just be on the Splatoon service, not necessarily me. But we're about to, if we ever, it looks like we might have my internet crash in a second. And if you're one, I'm, pro I'm just going to cut if this is going to take a while. And maybe not. Maybe you're still watching this because I didn't cut it because I'm really lazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to cut. All right. And we are back. All right, so let's see. Hopefully, we can get a battle in here. Obviously, we are fighting for that level nine, and then maybe next two, three, four episodes, we will be able to get to level ten, and then we will have finished the series. Obviously, we're not going to stop playing. I'll probably just change the name to Splatoon Battle Racing. Okay, and we did lose, interestingly, a point five on there, so we are just at a nice and toasty point plus point plus two point zero. Oh, sorry, Edward. And so full, and I can't read the rest of them. Um, so let's go. Sufu? Maybe Sufu. I don't know. Either way. Um, I, I wish you could go on the conveyor belt. That would just be absolutely awesome. But obviously, that might be a little much. So yeah, it is. No, it's so fufu. That might be a reference. I don't know. Either way, and we are we are able to spray ink, spray ink this game, so this is that means we hopefully will not disconnect again. As you saw, pretty much everyone in that last lobby disconnected, which makes me think that it very well could have been the servers. I'm not going to blame anything. I don't know. Either way, we're just going to start picking up some area here. Um, I really do like this course. I just love how open it is, and hopefully they didn't can disconnect. They very well could have though. Um, maybe not. We still we're still placing ink, so maybe not. Maybe just one disconnect. Not positive on that. I did get picked off there. Really got two on one. Not even necessarily two on one. Just they just picked me off. I was focusing another. Just didn't have any backside support. But all right, we're gonna hop back into it. We're gonna make the jump, and we're gonna pick up a little bit. We're gonna press. We're gonna pick up a little bit of the flank over here, which didn't get covered. And we're gonna drop down. We're gonna pick up little bit in the corner here. Obviously seeing that coming up, pick up an easy kill on the, on the ink roll. I don't quite get that one though. Which is alright because we someone on our suit so foo foo did end up picking it up. I do see that coming. Obviously I just need to pick that up a little bit earlier so I don't take all that damage. 
obviously that is not the goal of the game, but clearly that, that's an easy pickup for us. I'm going to step into that because I am not afraid of anybody. Pick that up. The sniper's still there. Sniper is still there, and we're going to get a splat bomb. Interesting place for a splat bomb. But we, we do seem to be picking up middle very well in this game. Um, so hopefully I do see that coming in though, so we're just going to throw an ink bomb in there. Just cover that up. Easily pick up it, easily regain all this territory. That's the one thing about the ink, whatever. It's very, I can see it being very good late game and just a nice, easy pickup with maybe two, three seconds left. Just lay that down, and then you're picking up territory without really risking losing a life. Or it's just a very, it's very accountable. So, but not necessarily. It's very easy to cover, especially because it's. A, it indirect so you're not actually physically placing it there and thus not able to defend it we're just going to slide in here waiting hopefully trying to pick off some people but i'm not sure we may end up i'm actually going to drop expecting them yeah see as, as i said we are picking up a couple kills there i believe that was a double kill um as you can see we do have some flank support we are looking pretty good going into the last 15 seconds of this match I'm going to go pick this up with an ink bomb, slide right up, just pick up these last couple spots that we can, we're going to throw one more ink bomb over here, and we're going to pick up, just trying to get that ratio as high as we possibly can, definitely very well done, we're going to see how we end up, 62 to 30 points, 62.9 to 30.6, so very good for us, let's see how we did. We went 4-2 with 890p, third place, higher than our usual fourth. Um, definitely very good, and there it is, the level 9, loving it. Definitely going to pick that up with 33,000 cash. I'm not exactly sure what, how that um, really translates, but we're going to hop in two, maybe three more matches. Not quite sure right now. Um, we're looking for one more player until we can hop in, and there it is at a level 15 name I can up for that. So it's so foo -foo. Interesting. Um, just one second. All right, we're back on Walleye Warehouse where we just played and just got another win. We've really been picking up the um, play style, playing I'm definitely more adaptive, easily can multiple, easy, definitely more adaptive. I'm not really quite sure what I'm trying to say here, but I'm definitely being able to adjust more to how the game is being played and just my play style to best fit what my team needs and also best what's going to get me the best points. Because you can see, I'm not really huge on picking up points because I just don't. I don't pick up a ton. Again, because I'm not using one of the big ink. I'm not using one of the big pickup um, area spaces like the ink roller, which is where you get those. Which is where you, those are the kind of players where you're going to be able to see those thousand plus scores in a game. Especially, it's just such. It's so easy to pick up. Again, I really do. I love the splatter shot. Um, it's just more my type of weapon. I'm not huge on real melee guy. I'm more of a more of a um, distance kind of pickoff guy. I love running gun, more of my style of play, but either way, so again, I'm never going to be able to pick up those really big thousand point pushing 1500 on a really good day kind of games. Wet. Like a um, like someone using the ink roller is going to easily be able to do pretty, pretty consistently. But again, that's not really what I'm looking to do. Obviously, I see them. We're kind of in a one-on-one -on -one battle here. Not liking that. I'm just going to spray some self to make it. Looks like we were able to take them out with a little bit of distraction there. Obviously, I'm just deploying myself. I do see that. Not a huge fan of the Kraken. Obviously, one of my least favorite perks in the game. Just hate and going against it. And only comes the only one I've unlocked that you actually can use it with is the is an ink roller. So obviously, I am just so far against that. Pick up an ink roller, pick off there. Very good. Not looking great. They seem to have covered a lot of this middle area. But again, we can easily recover that with just a little bit. Hopefully, some pick off play right now. Obviously, seeing that, I do see that mine coming. I guess it was not a Kraken. Spotted by a Seeker. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cough here. But. <coughs> <sighs> um, Alright, here we go. Coming down. Looking. Interestingly, they have gained a lot of momentum on our side of our side of mid right now. So we're gonna try to have, really gonna have to watch our backs here too. I see the seeker does not connect. Thankfully, that could have been really devastating. Another 
really gotta get away from them. Hopefully trying to force them out. Easy. No, that has to be a pickoff there. We didn't yeah, we got backsided, so the pickoff we did get the pickoff, but then we were backsided. Unluckily not able to pick up the KO. We're just gonna blast oh I can't blast off. We're gonna blast off to you. Um, looking up, just trying to scout a little bit more. Seeing that that's pretty pretty routine there, but again they hit in the egg and with no support. I'm really in trouble there. That's going to end the game and we have no players on the field right now. <laughs> They absolutely dominated us. This could be one of the highest loss ra ratios. This could be a 70 to under 20. Thankfully, it is not. <laughs> uh, we barely held on to their dignity there. But so did come in third at two and three. Looks like Ed 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 Edward Edward. That's not great English. We did pick up 800. No, we didn't pick up. We picked up a little bit less than that. We picked up 528p. Um, so. Not our greatest round. We are at a toasty two well, plus 2.5, 33,000 cash. Level 9, 837 out of 10,000. So it is just a flat 10,000, not the 10,800 I thought it would be. Um, but here we go. We are back on R1 Mall. So hopefully we can pick up a win here. Um, again, it, how I play on this map really depends on what my opponent or what my teammates do. And looking at my team, it looks like I'm going to be have to be one of the ones pushing as we have what looks to be two snipers and then a ink roller so I'm gonna push high definitely looking to pick up a lot of kills this game might not happen but we're gonna find out again hopefully not meeting anyone hopefully I can get top bins here top bins I don't know what I just said I think I said top bins look if they're gonna let me press their side I'm gonna do it here obviously I see the sniper shooting at me but I'm not gonna let that phase me it does look like they may be out of player not positive on that we are going to pick up a kill there, looking to pick up another on this ink roller. We do pick it up, and we're just going to keep trying to dominate their side right now. This is the highest I've ever pushed this early in a game on this. They do, they did spot me out. I am going to try to pick one up anyways, and I do pick it up. That's a nice 3 KO there in the beginning of the game. Definitely gave us some huge momentum pressing into the latter stages of this one that killed almost a minute off the clock of them just trying to take me out. So clearly that was an effective strategy. Obviously you're not usually going to be able to press that high. Usually teams will um, control you in a little bit more and try to cap you at maybe not pressing any bit more than mid usually. But that that was just an odd case. I'm not sure they really have greatest communication. Looks like they probably you know a little bit more on the um, flank siding than really anything else. We're trying to pick up a KO here. Can we do it? We do. We do pick it up, but we do get splatted by the homing missile. All right, a seeker is what they are called. <laughs> About halfway through right now, we're not looking to press too high because again we have two teammates looking very high into their side. So what we're going to try to pick up our flank here, really try to give us a little bit more space coverage. We're throwing ink bomb, not a great ink bomb placement, but that's all right. And here we go. Again, there. Oh, they started to take back mid. Obviously, not what we want. I'm gonna have to hop in there, try to pick up a couple KOs just to get us back into this. And here we go. They have started to press our side. Looks like we did get to take them out though, so they didn't get to do too much damage to us, nor really hold us in like I was able to do for a couple, for about a minute there at the beginning of the, beginning of the match. I'm gonna try to get a bomb up there. I do. We do get the pick off. I'll be always a good thing. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna try to push a little bit higher now. Really just trying to keep him in. That is, he is on our team. I'm gonna push low here. Really trying to pick up as much space as possible. We are gonna pick up a KO. Can we get the double? We do. We get the double, but we do trade lives, which is obviously a good thing considering we are pressing their side. So that is not going to end up hurting our team in any way. Only positive things from this match so far. Um, we are looking at 545 points. So this is pretty decent round for us. Yeah, we're just going to try to pick up as many points as we possibly can in these last couple of 15 seconds here. We're just going to try to pick up every single spot we can. We're going to look high, we're going to look low. In last six, five, four, three, we're going to throw a bomb out. Not really sure that's going to get us anything, but we're just going to try to cover up anything this sniper wants to throw at us. And we, that is a definite win for us. Probably a 60-30. Wouldn't be surprised at that. Uh, or 60 under 30. If 56, 31 point, 56 point seven to 31 point two, very good. Um, plus 300 bonus for wings, so that's going to put us at 874. Obviously, not far behind. Very well performed game from our whole team. 
Um, so we now 1,711 out of the 10,000 we need. Sorry, I just bumped my mic. And um, that's gonna. I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. So thanks for watching. It's been Maximum Earthquakes Raced to Level 10 on Splatoon's Episode 15. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.